we are starting our move up to Alaska. <gasps> That's Glacier right there. Oh my gosh. This is the thing I was looking forward to and it's not gonna happen. We got some family photos in front of a glacier, no big deal. I don't wanna do it! Do it! I'm okay. America, where they give your dog a treat upon entering Alaska. Where are we going? We're going to Alaska. We're going to Alaska! Amelia down for her nap. Hello, my name is Jamie. I am married to the love of my life, William. We've been married for four years. We have our eight month old Amelia and our golden retriever named Blue. And on today's vlog, we are starting our move up to Alaska. It's getting real. We've taken like everything off the walls already. We met with our movers this week. We met with housing this week. It's overwhelming. I'm like, I'm really excited that we are not having to move ourselves. First time in my adult life that movers are coming. They're gonna pack everything for us and my anxiety level is like notably less than when we move ourselves or when I've moved myself in the past. It's getting real. We're leaving in less than two weeks. The movers come next week. Oh. <gasps> it's fine, everything's fine. I'm not overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. It's okay. And okay, so today it is currently 96 degrees outside and in Alaska it's in like the low 60s, high 50s. I have to pack for two different climates. Don't know when my housing goods are going to be delivered. So. for the Packers all weekend. Okay, one to 10. How stressed are you? Four and a half to five. I'm about at a six or seven. Probably seven. Our movers are coming today. We are so excited. No, really. I'm very excited to have other people moving my house for me, huh? Is that exciting? Amelia and I are going to show you where we are keeping everything, huh, cute girl? It's all in her room. So while our packers are here, we put everything in here that we don't want them to move. We'll put this on the door. enjoying our very last moments in the house before the movers arrive. They've been here the past two days packing everything up. It is now Thursday and they are supposed to finish all the packing today and then load it all up and get it out of here. So in a few hours here, we will have a mostly completely empty house. It's kind of sad, huh, Amelia? We've had a great run here in Arizona. You wanna say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. That's a beautiful smile. Oh, yes. Hey. <laughs> it gets really echoey in here, but they took out all our furniture and now it echoes really badly in here. To be honest, like my stress level is not that bad. Maybe a five right now out of 10. And I've moved a lot in my life and I get really stressed when we move. But honestly, having a company come in and like pack up all your stuff and then load it for you and take it away. There are different stresses that come with it. You like move it all yourself. Like I know where all my stuff is when I move it myself. I know once I get to my new place, I'm gonna be able to unload it pretty much right away and have all my stuff right away. I don't have that now, so there is that added stress. This has been so much easier than just moving ourselves, and I appreciate it so much. I 
felt like such a luxury and it probably honestly is to have like other people come into your house and pack all your stuff for you. I have confidence. They like wrapped all of our furniture. They saran wrapped our couches. This has been a crazy pants week. It is Friday. We are leaving next Wednesday. We have plenty of time to clean the house. So yeah. You can see like right here. I'm going to show you this setup real fast. It's hilarious. Got our camping chairs that rock. They're rocking camping chairs. And we just have our little water jug with a computer on it. And so we watched some Seinfeld last night. New girl. Also, the movers were supposed to be here at 10 to finish paperwork. And it is almost 11. It's fine. Everything's fine. Day one of our big adventure. We are headed to Sea Diego. Hello. We've driven about a little over two hours, just had our first stop, and we literally ate lunch in our camper. <laughs> and I think that'll be happening a lot on this trip. We just had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Have some shake with some almond milk. Will is getting gas, and then we are about to head straight towards San Diego, where we will be cleaning my car because we are shipping it to Alaska, and apparently it has to be clean. I don't know, they have all these criteria. We made it to San Diego. have just devoured our Taco Bell. And Amelia, oh, can't see her. She's just rolling around in there trying to fall asleep. <laughs> Looks like she's waving. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Good morning. Say good morning, Amelia. Today is day two. We are taking my car to the people who are shipping it to Alaska today. They have all of these criteria for what you have to do to the car in order for them to like receive it and accept it and ship it. Like vacuuming it out and having, you know, all these documents, repairing any chips in the windshield. Will is out right now, like cleaning it, getting it washed and vacuumed. And then our appointment is at nine. So we got up at 5.30 this morning, which when you have an infant, is really not that much earlier than we normally get up. Hopefully today goes really well and we're crossing our fingers that they will accept my car with no issues which is luck to do the aftermath of preparation good food good mood blood in circulation one step at a time yeah that's how you make it set a goal you control and the steps you take i just ran into this and literally hit my head on it and slowly rolled back onto my back and laid on the ground going ow and will like leapt out of the truck to come and check on me so dramatic <laughs> so dramatic so we are packing up everything. We dropped my car off, everything in it was good. We're so relieved that they didn't like kick it back and be like, uh, it's not clean enough. We are packing everything up. We kind of left in a hurry, so the trailer was a bit of a mess. Got a lot of things in the truck. We got a lot of stuff in the truck. How it goes. Yeah. First spot, we'll be heading to Utah today. Back seat's ready. Huh, Blue? She's no. like, I don't know about that. <laughs> so far, we are at 10 hours and 45 minutes for our trip. I started it uh, right as we were exiting our neighborhood. Right as we were leaving our neighborhood in Arizona. He started a little timer thingy. Amelia is back there talking to herself. at Will's sister's house. We spent a few days with his mom and dad. And then now we're at his sister's house for a few days. Very exciting. And my GoPro, We I ordered a GoPro and sent it to his sister's house and it's here. So I'm really excited.
horses. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's good. Yeah. Just let me know what you're doing. Right over our head. <laughs> There's this huge storm right now. There's not a better. No. Here we go. Hope you're ready. Love you. Love you. I don't think I'm ready. Yeah. Waiting for the next few years. Yep. Bubble, you ready? You ready, Amelia? Everybody buckled up? Mom's um, not buckled. Let's see if we can turn this bad boy around. Ready to go though. Sound excited. What makes you sad? Uh, leaving family. Yeah. It was really good seeing them. Yeah. Yeah, this past week it was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you think? I don't know. I'm sad. It was good. A really good time with family. And I think I'm sad to like live far away from family. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Yeah. But we're also excited. <laughs> we are so excited at the same time. Mm -hmm. We get to live in an amazing state. We got the camper. We're gonna be going camping so much. Yeah. We're gonna have a really good time out there. I am like I am excited, but I think I'm just right now. I'm just sad. That's where Will became a Christian. Yep. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Those two places. Okay, so we have arrived at our destination for tonight. We are actually staying with one of Will's friends from college and a bunch of like Will's friends are coming over tonight. We're gonna have like this big dinner. So it's kind of fun. I don't know if he's been back here since he graduated from college. So his wife made up this super cute room for us. So see you guys tomorrow. It's pretty chilly. Good morning. Literally everyone is looking. I don't see a single thing. What is it? What is it? Okay, we have arrived. Will is setting up. Amelia is trying to crawl. Uh, Blue is relieved. We are out of the truck. We're gonna go off and explore Grand Teton. <laughs> oh. 
stamp. Like we got, I guess. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's what mine did. Storm rolling in. It's so nice. Just beautiful. Soaking wet. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining. It just absolutely started pouring right before we were going into the restaurant for dinner. It continued raining the whole time and we left the diaper bag in the car and then there weren't things in the diaper bag that we needed. So. Yeah, run back up with the drug unit. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's just been a whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And we parked in a river, basically. So, I'm gonna have wet shoes for a while. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's all good. Can you okay. shut that door? Yep. Woo! Ah, go, 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 yeah. Go, 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 Oh my goodness! That was wet, huh? Hi friends. So, it has become apparent to us that after spending roughly 20 hours in Yellowstone that it needs to be its own vlog. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. If you guys don't wanna miss our encounter with herds of bison in the misty, foggy, sunrisey morning of Yellowstone, then you definitely wanna subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> I can start it over. I was not recording that whole time. Oh no. <laughs> oh darn. Oh darn. <laughs> Don't tell them our street name. Oh. <laughs> I'll bleep that out. <laughs> Hi friends. <laughs>